Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you guys are doing good because Biore is here, okay? <laughs> you guys, anytime I wear red lips, I don't know why, I just feel special, okay? I feel extra and I feel special. And uh, I know someone's going to ask me what color is on your lips. It is MAC Ruby Woo lipstick. That's what it is, okay? Anytime you see me on red lip like this, just know that it's Ruby Woo. I keep buying and replacing. I don't try any other brand or any other shade. I just like mac ruby woo and i'm gonna i'm gonna stay beside him okay i'm going to stick to it for as long as it's available in the market anyway in today's video i'm going to be talking about the hard part of living the soft life okay the difficult part of the soft life um i have a t-shirt that says i was made for the soft life is my merch actually it's supposed to be out but long story is going to be out soon and I chose that I chose that design I chose that right up to be on a t-shirt because I genuinely believe that I was made for the soft life okay even when I was born my parents said that after I was born that was when things started opening up for them my father got promotion in his job he got his first car they moved to a better house so basically God just made things soft for me so that this one he just you know, this one this one doesn't like stress so just let us just have things in place so that she will not suffer okay <laughs> even my name my name is Adeze which is basically princess first daughter um for the of a king okay yeah basically princess and i would say that throughout my life i have gotten things fairly easy okay fairly easy i've had the princess treatment for i think for all of my life not in the way most of you might think oh i didn't come from a rich home i didn't come from a house where i was pampered or i was you know nah that's not what i mean by princess treatment okay <laughs> i think that throughout my life things have been kind of easy for me not so easy but Things have worked out for me, you know, the way I wanted it somehow, okay? Things usually worked out for me the way I wanted it. I have gone through my fair share of struggles, of issues, of, you know, my parents are not really rich, you know, we've had times of, you know, actual poverty and we've had times of, you know, we were basically middle class and we had times of poverty in between, but but overall, I feel like things have always turned out pretty good for me. So yeah, I feel like I was made for the soft life. I don't like stress. Anybody that knows me knows that I don't like stress. I don't like wahala. I don't like issues. I don't like confrontation. I don't like fights. I don't like rough play. I don't like physical harm. I don't want anything that will stress me, okay? I just want to be pampered and to be taken care of, okay? And as much as that is true, one thing I think people forget is that there is a difficult part of living the soft life, okay? Because the curse of Adam is real, okay? That curse that God cursed Adam and Eve is very, very real. <laughs> I mean, as Christians, as born-again Christians, it does not really apply to us, but these are laws of nature that basically govern the way human beings interact with their world, okay? There is a time of sowing, there is a time of you know putting in the hard work there's a time of you know putting things in place so that in the future you can reap your harvest okay and the time of sowing the time of you know doing the underground work the time of grinding is not an easy time okay it's never an easy time for anybody anybody that tells you that it's easy is simple they are doing something wrong is either they are leaning on someone else's hard work or they're not doing they're not basically and being truthful okay they are being deceitful because if you are going to make an honest living if you are going to live a soft life the right way there is a time for you to put in effort even people that do it the wrong way okay whatever we we'll describe as the wrong way and i'll get into that there is still a time that they suffer and put in work even if it is wrong work okay you guys get what i mean even if what they are doing is, is illegal or is not good or is a sin or is bad or whatever is morally wrong they, they actually still put in effort for them to reap the result that they are reaping, okay? Soft life is not homogeneous, okay? Soft life is not white and brown aesthetics on, on, on social media, okay? It's not Hamatan aesthetics. <laughs> people are different and what constitutes soft life to people are also different. For me, soft life is living a life without struggle, okay? Living a life without struggle. Now, what I mean by without struggle, I'm not saying without hard work. There's a difference between hard work and struggle. People these days mix up hard work and struggle they see hard work as struggle and they see struggle as hard work which is totally wrong they are two different they are two different things okay hard work is or even smart work you know for me hard work smart work oh now nah work okay hard work smart work is putting in the work doing what is required for you to get the best result that is what hard work is okay putting in the work that is required for you to get the best result so whatever work is required for me to get the best outcome in my life then putting in that work is me you know working hard right but you see 
putting in so much work but it does not eventually give you the best like it does not it's not a path that leads you to the best outcome okay that's a struggle for me right struggling for instance i always say that i'm, I'm a lazy person not because i cannot do hard things or not because i don't even do hard things daily i don't think that i do that i know that some of you cannot even do you'll be like why <laughs> like it's to you to be suffering but to me it is pleasure it's fun it's, i'm having fun i'm enjoying myself even though it takes a lot of work okay so i feel like sometimes being a lazy person person in quotes is what leads to innovation is what leads to getting the best outcome because i'm sorry i don't want to you know work from 7 a.m to 10 p.m to any living i don't want to do that okay I'm, I'm too lazy for that i always say it that's why i left my nine to five or, or eight to seven or whatever that my job was you know eight, i was resuming work by seven o'clock and i was leaving work by 6 p.m sometimes i'll get home around 7 8 i don't want to live that life i'm not saying that you know it is a wrong life or whatever to each his own okay for me personally it wasn't the life i wanted to live i wanted to have a life that that i'll have time to do things for myself time to engage in so many creative outlets because i'm a creative person i thrive on creativity so i needed creative outlets i couldn't do a nine to five it did not just work for me i was miserable okay for me that is struggle okay now what i do now it's actually more time consuming <laughs> than my nine to five, right? I mean, it's more time consuming, but the time frame is not strict, okay? So nobody's telling me ah, you have to be at the office by 7 a.m. and you have to leave by 6 p.m. No, okay? But it is more time consuming, it is more difficult, it's more tasking, okay, to do what I do now. But I don't feel it. I don't, even though I feel it sometimes, like it's not, it's not, I still prefer it, okay? I would rather do what I'm doing now than have a regular nine to five, especially some kind of nine to five. Because there are some nine to fives that I feel like I can do, even though I've not found them, I can do them, okay? But the thought that I had before, I couldn't do it, right? Yeah, that's what I mean by me being a lazy person. If I don't like something, if it doesn't give me joy, if I'm not fulfilled doing it, if it is not, you know, making me happy, if it is not feeding into my soul, it is not, it, I'm not encouraged, okay, doing it. I'm not going to do it. Meanwhile, there are things that I do that are so time consuming, so tasking, but I love it and I'm going to do it, okay? Um, yeah, so I feel like lazy people find a way to do what's best for them and what's best for the world, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember growing up, there's many things I used to question. For instance, you want to you want to peel beans and make moe moe, why do we have to remove the back? I used to question that thing a lot, okay? Why do we have to remove the back and when we remove the back and how we remove the back? Why do we have to do it, you know, the manual way, the stressful way? Why? To what end? Food that I'll eat in five minutes, I'll take three hours or four hours or five, six, seven hours self making food I will eat in five minutes. Why? So these are things that I used to question growing up. And now that I'm older, there are so many meals that I either eliminated from my from my um, diet because it's a waste of time for me, okay? It's either I go and buy them or I just let it go. There are so many things that I don't do now because I just consider them a waste of time and truly they are a waste of time, okay? Kudos to those who do them. Maybe they like doing it. So if you like doing it, it's not a waste of your time. But for me, I don't like doing it. So it's a waste of my time. So those are things that I try to eliminate and I always look for the fastest way and easiest way to get things done. Anyway, I have deviated from my point. So my point is, when it comes to soft life, soft life is different for different people and there is a hard work to it, okay? Forget what you see on social media. In fact, don't forget what you see on social media. I don't like that, forget what you see on social media, they're online. They're not lying. They are only showing you the good part. They're not showing you, you know, the grind. I won't call it the bad part. They're not showing you the grind. They're not showing you the behind the scenes. Some people even try to show you the behind the scenes, but people don't believe. People still, you still, people still feel like, no, that's not how it is. Like, it's, it's not that difficult, you know? When I tell people about how, oh, making videos is not easy, some people feel like it's a lie. Like, just, not just on camera and just sit down, just talk what's difficult about that okay so at the end of the day just know that there is always a hard part to soft life there's always a difficult part there's always a time for grinding and the reason why i decided to make this video is because i noticed that a lot of young people these days don't want to put in the work right they want to get the results they want to get the accolades they want to get the recognition they want to get all the you know positives all the good that comes with you know certain things but they don't want to put in the work you feel like no you deserve better you know and something that we need to get into our heads okay everybody watching me everybody everywhere so one thing we all need to get into our heads is that there must be work involved in anything you do in this life positive negative useless useful 
you know necessary unnecessary anything you are doing there must be work involved if there is no work involved in something then the result is most likely going to be you know bad it's most likely going to be less than ideal okay so for instance if i decide to just stay in my room and sleep all day all night first of all you're going to gain weight second of all you're not going to achieve a lot you're going to deteriorate as a human being you are going to deteriorate if you just stay you see people that used to do um, my 600 pound life or whatever okay all those people you'll be wondering how they got there it's because they literally deteriorated as human as human beings okay they were doing less work they were doing they were less active they had less movement that is why they just literally deteriorated as human beings okay so like i said soft life is different for different people the fact that you don't relate to somebody's life does not mean they are not enjoying their life okay that's another point i wanted to make today the fact that you cannot relate to someone's life does not mean you they are not enjoying their life for instance the nightlife i cannot relate to it okay i've tried it i've gone out several times you know you know to hang out with my friends and spend time you know just in the night just dancing and you know eating i've tried it it doesn't work for me okay I, I feel like the music is too loud. I feel like I can't hear myself. I can't have meaningful conversations. I'm pretending to understand what everybody's saying. Um, the atmosphere is always too choked up, you know, either with the smoke or the every, everything, just the people, too many people in, in a small space. Um, the drinks are usually just there. Even the ones with alcohol is just okay. But in fact, I, I, I'd rather do without the alcohol, okay? Because to me, it's just, a, it's just a bitter drink that people just add to their drinks to make themselves feel good. I don't know. For me, it doesn't work for me. Um, the food most times is just managing or just managing you know i don't know how to explain it so for me nightlife even though i still engage in it for the fact that i'm trying to be more social to relate with more people to make more friends you know to maintain friendships that is why i do that but it is not my to me it is it is of our head okay so i even see it as that's the work i have to put in just to maintain relationships and to have a social life on the other hand what i consider soft life is hanging out in the afternoon having a nice lunch or nice brunch you know Gisting, having fun with my friends, talking with them, gisting with them, actually having conversations that I can hear and understand, um, you know, listening to music, unnecessarily loud dance music and be dancing. I like the dancing part, funny enough, but I can dance in the afternoon, okay? I can dance to regular sounding music, not very loud in your in your chest kind of music, you know? Um, yeah, so for, for different people, it's different things. For me, it is living a life without struggle, no struggle friendships, no struggle relationships, no struggle, you know, jobs, no struggle um, partners, no struggle what? Everything about my life, I don't want to struggle with anything, okay? I want to put in the work necessary to get the best outcome. That is my goal, okay? That's my dream. The only thing I really struggle with right now is my weight. And even that, I am trying to, you know, do things to help me to, you know, lose weight and, you know, get back in shape and be more fit, okay? So, at the end of the day, for me to live the soft life that I want to live, I map out the actions I need to take, I map out the things I need to do to get me to where I need to be, okay? It's not just moving in the dark and hoping things work out for me it's not just living my life anyhow it is a deliberate intentional you know effort on my part to try and live the soft life that i want to live so when you now see me living that soft life don't think that it's because because i've had people think that i come from a rich home or I, I grew up with privilege or some sort. No, I did not. Okay, I'm a regular shmegola. I came from a regular shmegola Nigerian home. Some of the things you see me do now, it wasn't what I, I I was used to growing up or what I knew growing up. No, I learned them as an adult because it is the type, it's the type of life I wanted to live. I decided to put in the work and actually learn about some things and learn how to do some things and just create that world for myself. Okay, I remember a friend told me that he always thought that I was married to one rich businessman okay <laughs> and i was like really he said yeah so like you know see me on social media and all that he always thought that i was married to one you know nah all this nah all this <laughs> all this very rich Igbo man i was just a trophy wife or something somewhere and i was like my brother no be so <laughs> some people's dream but no be so okay the way the world is designed for you to achieve any meaningful success there are so many factors that are going against you. There are so many factors 
that want you to be average. There's so many things that want you to just be regular. The evolutionary process is designed to weed out the weak and to, you know, uphold the strong, right? So, for you to be a billionaire, it's not, it's not beans. It's not just by, you know, looking pretty and then billions to enter your accounts. No, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of underground and behind the scenes uh, ad work that is involved in getting there. People need to recognize that, first of all, soft life means different things to different people. The fact that you cannot relate to somebody's life does not mean that they're suffering. The fact that, you know, you think it's suffering does not mean that it's suffering. Some things that we refer to as hard work are actually struggle. And some things we, dis we refer to as struggle are just basic work, basic hard work that is involved in, you know, achieving your dreams. Um, there's always going to be work involved in achieving your dreams. So choose your work, okay? Choose your work. If you want to do it the negative way, if you want to go and meet Babalawo, you want to go and bath inside a river, you want to go and collect soap, you want to go and scam people, you want to go and carry gun, whatever it is you want to go and do, there is still work involved and you're going to get the repercussions, okay? If you want to do it the right way, if you want to really learn, you know, new skills and put those skills to work, you want to learn the of you know um, communication you want to learn how to interact with people you want to learn how to you know do business the right way and you know invest money all those things if you want to learn all those things and you want to achieve them it is still work okay for me i embrace hard work but i am averse to struggle okay i'm averse to struggle life if anything looks like struggle to me i'm not going to engage in it okay if i even if i am the one that opened my eyes and decided to go into something and decided to do something and i see that this thing requires more than just hard work it requires struggle it requires you know sometimes struggle is not just even in the working part struggle is in the kind of like almost like you're forcing things to happen okay you're forcing people to like you you're forcing friendships you're forcing relationships you're forcing the guy to propose to you you're forcing the guy to to take you to his family you're faking a life that you don't have just just for recognition just for people to look at you and say oh my god she has this life like to me it is not worth it it is struggle okay i want peace i want joy i want happiness i want a life that is just i put in the work that is necessary i get the result I, I'm a, and i live happily with my family that is what soft life is to me okay anyway let me know in the comment section what soft life is to you let me know if you got anything from this video even though the video is all over the place like literally i do not make any notes i'm just like everything in my head i'm just going to pour it out okay um yeah what is soft life to you what does it mean to you uh, do you do you believe that there's a difference between struggle and hard work okay and do you believe that hard work is necessary for you to achieve the dreams or, or, or to achieve your goals and your dreams let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys